Hopefully she's here. Is an artist, writer, and an aspiring snob. But she's an artist and a writer, so she's halfway there already. Give it up for Jenny Bart! sound a little stuffy, but then that's how snobs sound, so just play along, okay? Uh, I have to tell you that I'm sick and tired of hearing the F word. Oh, fat, I can't eat that muffin. Oh, fat, I've had too much chocolate. Oh, fat, look how much these people can eat. Oh, fat, I still have to lose some more weight, and look at me. I'm Gujarati, by the way. <laughs> we get fat just by looking at food, you know? <laughs> Titan Eye is coming out with the world's first sugar-free contact lenses. And uh, they're going to be like condoms for the eyes. <laughs> Keeps the sugar out of your sight. <laughs> but seriously, they plan to change your worldview in a very profound way. You will discover that everything in the universe is made of the same stuff. Carbs. That means all of life is fat made. Anyway. I was overweight, so I had to see a dietitian. The guju in me was petrified. You know, so I went to her office and she gave me a chart and she said, follow this and come back after three weeks. So I had to eat a lot of dhuti and karela and moong rotis. Moong rotis, by the way, look like grayish green discs of roasted cement. <laughs> so I go back and I tell her, listen, I have a confession to make. I've been doing food porn. So she says, what? So I explain. I take the dudi and the moong rotis on my plate and I watch Master Chef Australia. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of porn, how many of you are regulars here at the comedy store? No, at the store, not this the store. <laughs> and how many are women? See, they'll never admit it. <laughs> Have you noticed that most of the comics here are men? Have you also noticed that almost all of them love making penis jokes? Yeah. <laughs> now come on girls, somebody has to tell them. Listen guys, those things are not funny. <laughs> they are ugly. Please do not describe them. Please do not make us visualize them. For God's sake, some people in the audience are eating while they're talking, you know. <laughs> Suddenly, I don't like this mic so close to my face. <laughs> they really don't seem to get it, you know. We women don't like that kind of porn. We like high-end, sophisticated porn. We don't go to the internet for it. We go to the mall. <laughs> we go to Zara and Burberry and Louis Vuitton. And we let out the shoes and the bags and the clothes. That's what we like. By the way, did you know that there were types of food porn? Like there's dessert porn, okay? Hot chocolate sauce on top of gooey chocolate cake. <laughs> two of the same type together. <laughs> <laughs> then there's sandwich porn. You know that odd threesome, two buns and a cutlet in the <laughs> understand, like open marriages. I mean, if it's open, how is it a sandwich? <laughs> so, um, so, you know, I'm really scared of the dietitian. I'm, I fear the dietitian more than I fear God. So every time I open the fridge, I stare into space and I ask, will the food I'm about to eat come back as fat or allergies or cholesterol or anything else that I've been threatened with, like taxes? <laughs> with karma, you never know. Anything can come back as anything. A diet joke can come back as a diet coke. And that's not funny. It's fat. 